vlogger. I don't usually vlog with my phone, so I don't even know if I'm in frame right now, but hopefully I am. So, yeah, this is crazy. Was not expecting this today. We're going to get Sean now. We've had a harrowing morning of trying to record part of the podcast. The program, uh, the microphones weren't balanced. We finally got them balanced. And, uh, yeah, it dumped our file after we uh, did the first one. And what can you do but re-record? Hello. Oh. So, <laughs> hard to believe the first um, thing I filmed <clears throat> was that snow squall before. And now the second thing I'm filming is dinner. It's been a very long, busy, difficult day, which really sucks because I really wanted a vlog today. I re Well, I am now, so there's that. But, um, oh, I just wanted to show you the um, air plants that I got. So these were at um, Lowe's. These don't go in here. I was just trying to rejuvenate them. These were the holders for the little spiky ones. So I hate the way that they glue them in there, but I guess that they have to do that because they would get separated from their, um, you know, from their pots. So what I do is I usually soak them a little bit to get the glue off and then soak them to water them. And then they'll eventually go back and, like, they'll just go in there like that. And then when you go to water them, I just take them out and soak them and uh, put them back in. But these little llamas were so cute. They were originally, like, $8. And I got those for a dollar each. And those came with these uh, more wispy plants. Whoops! <laughs> now i got to rinse that off because the sink was not clean. Okay. Wow, I dropped it again. I should really pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. So I'll just leave this one here to dry a little bit. So I've got some more up here uh, rejuvenating. But these were uh, also $8. And these were $8. For some reason, the llamas were marked down to a um, dollar each, which is crazy because you'd pay way more than that just for the holder. And the, um, not to mention the air plant, the air plant's easily three, four dollars or more. And then uh, these were marked down to three dollars. I don't, I would have paid more for the llama, but um, the star ones were more expensive. So, I figured that would be a nice little surprise to brighten up someone's day for Christmas. So I am probably going to give away most of those for Christmas to family. And uh, <laughs> sorry if you're watching, but um, I'm going to give them other stuff too. I'm not just going to give them an airplane. I'm going to make them like a little care package of homemade cookies and caramel corn and Maddie's going to make uh, some of these snowflake ornaments that she's been trying out. We have to uh, look up how to starch them. So these are just beautiful. She uh, made these by hand. I think they take about a half an hour for each one. And uh, it's nice to have a nice homemade ornament to hang from the tree. I love that gray color too. We also got some uh, cream colored thread as well. So you can see that right there. It's almost like tea stained. It's really nice. And uh, I got the cutest little bags from the dollar store yesterday. It had pictures of baby Bowie on them. I'll have to show you those um, either later on in this vlog or tomorrow because they were just adorable. I have to show you those. Have to. <laughs> but Mark was nice enough. Sean, so much talking. <laughs> Sean's reciting his um, Thomas the Tank Engine scenarios. So Mark was busy doing the little doggy steps for the dogs outside. I can't show you right now because it's dark, but I will show you when I get a chance. 
and um, hopefully tomorrow. Although tomorrow is going to be busy too, it's going to be crazy. Uh, Sean's show was postponed until tomorrow, which is why I'm about to say that Mark went out and got Chinese food for tonight because usually when uh, Sean has a show, we like to treat him out for lunch afterwards and since Mark's not going to be there, I figured it would be nice for us to have a meal tonight. So in anticipation of him doing a good job, <laughs> he um, gets treated to, uh, as he says, delivery Chinese food tonight. He, he, I came over to him, I'm stuttering because I'm so excited for Chinese food. Um, I came over to him and he said, Mommy, what's for dinner? And I said, Chinese food. And he goes, delivery? <laughs> yes, Daddy's the deliverer. Yeah. He did a good job on the stairs for the babies. We still have to put a little uh, footer at the bottom. Yeah, we gotta fix the open. Yeah. But I think it'll work out pretty well. You have to put a little uh, side rails on there too, kind of, for them so that they don't fall off. But I think you did a great job for what you had to work with. Yeah, and it was like 25 degrees. And it might have been less than that. It might have been less than that. I think it's going down to 10 or 8 tonight. Yeah. Real, not real feel, yeah. real temperature. It might even be real feel colder than that. I actually stayed pretty warm in what I was wearing. Yeah? yeah? Oh, how nice. Have you thought of any other things that you'd like for Christmas? I was editing the podcast before, which is now half done, which is a help. <laughs> but um, I was about to go do some online shopping, but I figured I'd ask if you had anything in mind for you. I know you're good. Damn, you're good. <laughs> You're good, but I would like to get you a treat. A little something. A little something something in your pay envelope, a little right. reward. Hi, are you hungry too? I didn't want to feed them until you got back because I didn't want to have to struggle to take them out, but I'm not going to be able to enjoy my dinner unless I take them out. So you eat. Let them go down the damn stairs. No, I don't want them to fall. It's freezing over. It's all dripping from the roof. It's dripping from the roof. <sighs> let's, in, let's have a nice dinner. We're having the usual suspects. Sesame tofu. Lo mein. Or lo mein. No, it's lo mein. It's lo mein. We got a uh, mugu gai pan for you. And some uh, broccoli and garlic sauce. For everybody. Oh, those look delicious. Okay. Enjoy. And we got a couple spring rolls right there. So, enjoy in honor of our son who is uh, Rudolph tomorrow. <laughs> One died only. He's Rudolph. <laughs> Remember when we went to go see the Rudolph show? Yes. What was it? Rudolph's Magical Christmas or something like that? That was a great show, and Sean loved I mean, it. It was basically based on the... Uh, it was basically the cartoon come to life. Yeah. I think they added one extra song Sorry. in the middle, yeah. Musicals usually add a song or two extra that are not in the uh, movie. But that was a great show. That was a great show. It was worth the drive out to Connecticut. Yeah, it was all the way from Hartford. Yeah, it was in Hartford. Very close to Gilmore Girls. Oh yeah, Stars Hollow is right next door. Yeah, <laughs> not really. Stars Hollow does not exist in Connecticut. All right, well, <clears throat> exactly. Enjoy your food, and we'll be back the next day, as usual. Um, we're getting ready for Sean's show. He's about to eat his breakfast. Oh, excuse me. Rudolph is about to eat his breakfast. So, um, Sean, I love your Rudolph costume. It's so nice. This was a really nice costume, aka a pair of pajamas. Sean is almost six foot three, and um, it's very difficult to find 
one piece pajamas that are made for somebody so tall. Usually these are made for uh, kids or uh, teens. So <laughs> to find one that fits him very well, they're long enough, they're not like up against his knees, <laughs> they're not cutting him in the crotch. So you look like a very good Rudolph. Are you excited for your show today? Yes. Okay, good. I know he's going to do a fantastic job. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe we could stop at Aldi on the way home. I, I need some supplies for baking that I don't want to wait till the last minute to get. So it's going to be another long day. We got the live stream tonight. Oh my goodness. Maddie's also working tonight. We have um, the podcast to do. I'm not going to get to do uh, the vlog until um, I get home. So... It's already too late for you guys, but yesterday's vlog went up late. Can you guess why? <laughs> we have so much to do. Um, it'll go up, though, hopefully. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so swamped. I am so looking forward to uh, a few days off on the weekend. And uh, I can't believe Christmas is next week, so buckle up. We still have a lot of miles to go before we sleep, Robert Frost. <laughs> Remember that poem that you had to learn in, uh, what was it, grammar school? Yeah. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. Uh, I don't know if everybody has to learn that, or maybe it's just New York people. I don't know, but great poet. Uh, great poetry. Loved his work. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you know who these woods are? <laughs> these are Rudolph's woods. So, um, I guess tomorrow might have a couple of uh, stills from the show. And uh, we'll see you at the live stream tonight. And then continue along with the vlog as usual tomorrow. So, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments uh, if you're having a rough time getting ready for Christmas like I am. It's just, it just seems like there's an endless amount of things to do. I'm super blessed to have Maddie to help me out. <clears throat> she is indispensable. She is a one-woman work tornado. She, she's amazing. And I'm very thankful. So, until next time, much love.